Yo, what's going on? This is Shang, and this is Savage AF, brought to you by the World Famous Laugh Factory. Wait with me and Black Pedro, about to uh, have him jump on and see some of you people jump on. You know we're going to talk about some shit. You know what we do. You know what the show is. What's up, lady? Underscore Hazel. What's up? Breezy. Breezy J. Yeah, I don't really do song intros. What's up, T underscore K? What's up? Yo, this is, yo. make sure that y'all uh, subscribe. I'm, I'm going to post it up for y'all to check out the website, but make sure you subscribe to the uh, podcast version of the show, which is okay. iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, SoundCloud. We're on all that shit. Um, also, got some new stuff that we're going to be doing where we bring guests on. Um, gonna, we're going to talk about it on the show today, but we got to talk about the crazy shit that happened in the world, too, uh, with a lot of these crazy... We got another crazy motherfucker about to jump in. Who's a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, I don't... I think... Ooh, mm, 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 mm. There he is. Uh, I guess he's there somewhere. Wait a minute. There he is. Yes, he, he just walked right past me. I have no idea why he did that. Oh, yes, there he is. He, he, he was sitting okay, down. Okay. No, no, it's so it, it happens. It happens, man. You know, you know, sometimes some you know, much so much so. Sometimes it does just sometimes it doesn't. That's okay. what happens. Um, yo, I just wanna let y'all know, thank you so much for subscribing to the podcast. But we need as many people as possible. So Pedro's gonna give you information on where to subscribe while I pin the, the website down for our merch, which is Savage AF, okay? Savage mm -hmm. AF merch, which is don't be average, be savage. T-shirts, right. masks, the whole nine. He'll let you know what the deal is. I'm going yeah. to do this shit real quick right now. And thank y'all. Thank y'all for showing up to class on time. Miss Adverb, AJ Fit, Breezy JJs, Eves underscore Apple, TK575. We see you, love. Thank you for coming back. Yo, this is Savage AF. We are here on IG Live Monday through Friday. Mondays and Fridays, you know what we do. Uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Wednesday. Uh, sorry, Tuesday through Thursday. <laughs> Uh, we're doing it at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Browns Productions, I see you. Uh, make sure you follow Savage AF the podcast, okay? Before this uh, time of pandemic, <clears throat> we did uh, a peak at number 45 out of all political and comedy podcasts in the world, uh, which is big. So help, help us get back on up there and, and stay up there and, and achieve even more. Savage AF, wherever you get your podcast, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud. Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> I just let him do that because yes. yes um, uh, shout out to um, all you know a couple people that you know we hung out with and they're real cool people. Um, uh, Lisa Tanker um, and D Davida 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 D Davida D. Um, yes. Great, great, great. Lady and uh, I, I, I actually tried some uh, some uh, fruits and berries. Uh, I think it was what it, or what, I think it's berries. Or what's it made of? Grapes? Yes. Grapes, yep. Wine is yes. made of grapes. Yes, and it was, it, it turned out, I enjoyed it, oh, that, very much, um, an, an edibilistic uh, experience, yeah. and uh, barely made it home, <laughs> barely made it home, but, uh, like and, but the music sounded fantastic while I was driving home. Yeah, 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 yeah. X, Elena, X, I, I see you. Uh, yeah, man, you know, it was a good old time last night, uh, you know, uh, you know, outdoor dining, got it in yeah. Beverly Hills, yo. Keeping it Sometimes as you... safe as possible within the parameters of what we're doing. We weren't doing a Trump rally, put it that way. We weren't a whole bunch of still butt scrubbers stories. back and forth with each other. Oh, good Lord. You know it. That's... Can, can you hear me? Can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. You can't hear me. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Yeah, I just put my shit on Do Not Disturb. Uh, what is that? Iowana Inspires? I don't know if I said that, but I like that name. Iowana Inspires. We see you out here. All right, y'all. So, uh, you know, let's get into it. Savage AF. It's September 17th, 2020. Yes. It is a th Thursday. Um, let's get into a little bit of show, dog, you know? That's what we do here. I guess um, we get, we guess we got to talk about this shitty shit that's going on around this world and uh, some of the goofiness from some of the people that we have to deal with in this world. So we're going to talk about it. But you know what's going to happen is Pedro's going to give you the run up because you know how we run up on these motherfuckers. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Savage aye, is the kind of aye. show. <laughs> I can't For even, life. 
Yeah, I can't. Even, oh, wait. Let me do the. Is it? Is it that? Hey, hey, homie. Hey, 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 cuz. Is that? I can't do it. I can't do it. I mean, that's you not my play. style. That's not my kilo. So you can play Mac Ten. Give you, the run. you can play Mac Ten in in in. in I know. I do got the Mac Ten jowls. You know. You got. You got. <laughs> both <Mac> live. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's the daily run up, y'all. Uh, we're gonna end the day show talking about pussy grabbing. <laughs> Uh, your boy Trumpy Dumpty has a, another accuser uh, of sexual assault, former model. We're going to talk about it. Um, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about uh, holding court. A uh, federal judge uh, blocks the, uh, the current postal service changes that have been going on that seem to clearly be leading towards uh, halting mail in vote balloting. Uh, so we're going to talk course, about that. The, the same old shit. Here we go again. Yeah. yeah. But uh, before we get into that, and, and, and trust me, when we talk about the Postal Service, I see you, AJ Fit. We're going to talk about these. We got uh, uh, Kay Fields uh, PR is in the building. Um, she's, she's, a little, she's a little bit crazy, but she's a good person. That's she, it. You know, You're never going to survive yeah. unless you get a little crazy. Yeah, she's a little, little nutty, but, uh, <laughs> nutty, but a good person. Good people. Um, um, yeah. Before we talk about that, though, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you to whistle me a tune. We got whistleblowers on the right, whistleblowers on the left, and they are talking. Uh, we don't. <laughs> There's a lot of lot of people starting to, to to speak out finally. I'll be, like they could have did this shit before we had a pandemic, but I guess they got their conscience rolled up on them. So we're gonna talk That's about it. that for sure. Um, but before we talk about that, we're gonna talk about the lowest bar being set by William below the bar. Oh my God! Now, what an asshole! Who is what compared. a crazy turtle! Who's yeah. compared COVID restrictions to slavery? Uh, we gonna talk about that. <laughs> oh uh, my god! But before god, we talk yeah. about that, September seventeenth, twenty twenty, Savage AF. Follow at comedian Shane at Black Pedro. We're gonna talk about two faced, as in America being two faced when it comes to policing. And we we got cut off yesterday. Uh, we we had to go, but uh, we we were ending the show uh, talking about you know this this video that's out of this white guy who shot two cops, killed one of them. Um, they had tased the man. They were macing him. Uh, they were struggling with him, trying to get him out of the car. He was very, um, you know, noncompliant. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the word? No, no, belligerent. Yes, belligerent. that's belligerent. And ha had a history of violence, was known by these officers. One of them was calling him by his name. He had been arrested uh, many, many times uh, for assaulting police officers in the past. We know that if this was a black man, uh, it wouldn't have gone that far. They would have, you know, shot him or done worse. Um, but instead, they, they, they let him they go on and go on. They want to wrestle with yeah, him. Yeah, but wait a minute. What, what, co what color was he, though? Let's, what this, color was he the, that they would let the, him do all these things without ventilating him? What was it? Let's, let's go happened, up to the big board and ask like, Black Pedro. What the color was it? Like, uh, no, nah, I wasn't there when he was born. I don't know his mom and them. But uh, much like the officers, he did have uh, what we would call European American features, likenesses. Uh, he had. You know what he was? I'm gonna tell you what he was. He was white. He was white. Wow. It, it wasn't. It wasn't black. He wasn't Asian. He wasn't Mexican. He was white. Wasn't Indian American? No, he, he was. He was. This is. Uh, <laughs> What, what this is what they call what they don't call white on white crime, but what it right is. they don't call it, exactly white on white crime. Like that. But th this is the, obviously we uh, we all know the double standard that exists in the world, and nothing is fair, nothing is fair in the world. But the bottom line is, I've seen video after video after video where a white dude will have a knife, pull his dick out, and you know start jacking off on the fucking. You cop and the cop's like, hey, man, stop it. But he doesn't pull his gun on him. He doesn't pull his gun immediately and shoot him. He doesn't ventilate him in the back seven times and try to kill him. He doesn't do that. But in, in, in the other thing, they try everything but lethal, uh, lethal force, which mm -hmm. makes me go, there so, it is in your fucking face. At least, so either, so to, 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 you know, police and law enforcement in general out there, um, and, you know, we recognize that, yeah, there are good cops for sure. Understand that there is this <laughs> difference in the way we are treated. Right. So right. That, that wouldn't have gone that far with a black person. And because of this double standard, these two officers lost their lives or one of them lost their life and the other one got shot. 
because they 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 don't have a unified way of handling people of de-escalating or being fair across the board so they let this guy slide and he slid bullets up into their ass you know what i'm saying and right. they don't let black people slide and they easily put bullets in us and oh yeah for dumb shit they try to choke us to death there's cops that actually quit their job because they weren't allowed to choke us out Fuck them. And from now on now, and anybody that's related to a cop or knows a cop, or if you're a cop watching Savage AF, guess what? We talking to you, bitch. Hmm. Do the shit across the border. Don't do it at all. Right. Yeah, go, go. And you're always scared of black people. Go sell yogurt, you little softy, soft motherfucker. You scared of black people. We scared of you. You the one doing the most killing, you bitch ass bitches. And, and, the ones, and, the, and most killing killings of cops nationwide occur at the hands of, of white men so it, it's it's white guys killing cops in, in mass not not us in general so um go ahead and put that on your oatmeal and stir it up baby let it get in there <laughs> go and taste that taste that is that what we're doing like it's like hey, now man, put that man. on your fruit cup and eat it <laughs> and up let it crunch it on up crunch it on up, baby. and eat it on up because you know what it is no i think that, that we already know that there's a double standard across the board even in society but when it comes to life and death there's a tendency for them to feel like they got to exterminate us or we're strong we're bigger we're stronger that's why they look at young black men that are like 7 to 14 not even 14 I'm, i i stretched it 10 that they see them as grown men they see them as grown men, so that's why they react the way they do to them and they treat them so harshly. This situation was a blatant example, a blatant example of the white privilege and double standard of cops. And if you cops can't understand it and anybody's as cop watching it, then, then don't fucking do shit that way. And good cops police the bad cops, and if you don't police the bad cops, you ain't shit. You ain't a yeah. good cop. You dirty cop, dirty motherfucker. Smell like doo-doo. You smell and like doo-doo. And again, I will remind you all that when they say, well, there's just a few bad apples, they're not saying the whole adage. The adage is one bad apple can ruin the bunch. And that's what happens. Just a few, but it ruins everything. Okay, so let's get, let's get a standard. But speaking of not having a standard, uh, yo, Attorney General, and this is Saturday. Oh, my Jay God, else. he's such an he's asshole. Joining in. Um, William Below the Bar is what he is known as here. Right. Oh, Noop, I see you. Casey, I see uh, you. Uh, AKA, AKA uh, Dinosaur Turtle. Because that's what he looks like. He looks he, like he, a... he, not the mama. He does look like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, but William, now lower than the bar, lowest bar, uh, your attorney general um, compared the COVID restrictions that some states have, and when they say some states, he's always talking about blue states, um, right. to a, as the worst civil rights violation since slavery. I was saying slavery, but it was, slavery was a little different. I was like, oh, he's such an asshole. Good Lord. For, come on, man. Like, first of all, since slavery, there have been so many movements to keep fighting against civil rights violations against black people, like the way police handle us today. But I mean, Reconstruction led to Jim Crow, dog. Like, like the COVID restrictions aren't even as, as bad as Jim Crow was. You know what I'm saying? It's not even as bad as it was in the 80s with crack laws. Yeah. And like, it, yeah, to even compare it as insulting to black people, it's insul and period, the end. It's insulting to black people and you fucking know it. Bill Barr sits back because he has this smugness about it like nobody can touch me. But check this out. If I ever see him out, I could, you could see his head through that fucking mask. It don't matter if he, even, if he wears a mask. So if I see him out on the streets and Pedro's with me, what Pedro's going to do is, Pedro's <laughs> going to, I'm going to hold his arms and we're just going to smack him across the face with the actual Constitution. Okay? Yeah. Going to get a copy of the Constitution and smack him across the face. Because everything he's doing is not constitutional. He is basically acting like, you know, Trump's, um, Hitman, you know, that's oh, what he's doing. And, well, he's, oh, he's and become, the racist shit that falls out of his mouth. Fuck. Well, we said he's become a, he's become his uh, personal lawyer in an anti-defamation case where, you know, he's accusing an accuser of falsely accusing him. Um, <laughs> and, but yeah, you know, the, he totally works for the president. William Below the Bar has, has proven that. But yeah, man, to, to, 
And, you know, we know this is gaslighting and shit like that, but it, it, it really does get under your skin as, as a black person in this country to, to have the attorney general, the, 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 the fucking top cop in this country, um, you know, just sort of lightly, flippantly, I think, compare this, you know, health, a health care situation where you, we're just asking people to wear masks and not go to bars right now. And that, that's slavery. That's forced labor. That's, that's the same lynching, forced labor, right? That's rape. That's murder. That's, that's um, yeah. Uh, yeah. If I get, if I get caught reading. Yeah. That, that, that's, yeah, yeah. Miseducation, uneducated. Like, come on, man. Uh, uh, a pillaging of culture. Like, that's what that is. Hege hegemony. That's what this is. Is this COVID-19? You know what it is? I'm, I'm going to tell you what it is. It's that smugness. Oh, I'd like to smack the smug face off his fucking face. I like to, I'd like to smack his face off and pick it off the ground and beat him in the face with his own face. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> that is some other shit I just said. Even yes. for me. It's like, what that's, the fuck? That's a, that's you beat that game. nigga with his own face? <laughs> oh. God damn. God damn, I ain't never heard he somebody made, get faced up like that. He made that nigga headbutt himself. I mean, God yeah. damn. He did. He, yo, he, yo, he faced up that nigga. He just faced <laughs> him up. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, uh, if yes. you look at some, if you look at what he said, it was a smugness about it and a, 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 like a, a dismissive like, like of, of people of color, like, ugh. And so I think that, you know, basically he's falling into full saying Nazi goose steps as, you know, Trump. And mm -hmm. anybody out there that still don't know Trump is racist, well, then you're stupid. And I think that you're blender so hat. stupid. <laughs> yeah, blender hat, exactly. You're stupid, and what you should do is, you know, run a warm bath. I think a nice warm bath. <laughs> and good. then what, what kind of electronics you got in your house? I don't know what kind you have, but all I think you should all plug them in hair, and hair. tip them right into the bath with you. Right in there. On yes. Full tilt, full tilt. Uh, we see you only one mystical uh, Nikki FSU. Thank y'all, Sean yeah. Elizabeth. We love you. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, we're not. I don't want to spend too much time on this because it, it is just a distraction from him being, uh, you know, America's top crook. You know, it, it, oh, they, completely. They, they're, yeah. they're always playing. They're always playing the opposite role of of the actual job title. So. Um, you know, Trumpy Dumpy isn't president. He's he's Pu he's Putin's anal tampon. You know, this country is run by <laughs> exactly. Russia. Exactly. Oh, and it's it's so it's so obvious. And I think that what fucks my head up is to see so many people in not only in the press because <laughs> the press is actually going in. And I got to give it to him. His his um uh, and Biden. Even though you people don't like some people don't like Biden. I watched him today. He was definitely more on point. His yeah. his subject matter and what he I talked see. about made more sense than Trump when he was on this town hall meeting that he did for CBS. I think it was ABC or CBS. I'm sorry. He, he did. He and, did ABC. Uh, Trump. Did ABC. I'm sorry. Uh, his, and his, he his wasn't. Clown hall in, in, right. Yeah. He wasn't. Yeah. That clown hall meeting that fucking Trump did. But Biden was very concise, clear, yeah. said what he said, showed a little anger, showed some passion, showed some empathy for some of the people that were actually asking questions, social right. distance. And wore, and they had masks, so he actually did it responsibly, as opposed to Trump doing it with that bullshit way he does it, where he wants to show off his his drawing ability with a whole bunch of corny ass, goofy, goofball, fucking pigmently challenged people all huddle up with each other, trying to make a little COVID gumbo stew. That's what they're trying to do, bitches, bunch of bitches. Um, and speaking of a uh, bunch of bitches, um. There's a bunch of whistleblowing going on on these bitch asses in the White House. Uh, Trumpy Dumpty and, and, and Mike Pence, a, a former top aide to uh, Vice President Dent, I should say. Um, Olivia Troy, uh, who served under, under VP Dent, um, <laughs> she, yeah, she's coming out. She looked out. angry. She looked angry. And but, but just real quick, shout out before we do that, shout out to Comedian Stick, shout out to Nikki underscore FSU, uh, J Fit in the building, AJ Fit in the big AJ 365 in the building. Um, shout out to, yeah, uh, C Mole 89, a uh, little bit, C Mole 89, a little crazy, good people. 
Um, good person. <laughs> you always got to say that. that. Eve underscore <laughs> Apple 7916, we would not be able to do a lot of stuff. She is the queen of savageness. I once seen her take a little white baby doll and just punch the shit out of it. So she's a good person. But she's Until good they people. turn black. Until they turn yeah. black. <laughs> yeah, right. But she's good people. She'll um, slap the black on you. You know what I mean? Yeah, She'll yeah. But, black but that's what you got to say, crazy yeah. shit. But, say, but they're good people, though. I mean, no, they, no, no. they're good people. That's why they're on the team. Squad yes, that's sad. That's part. That's why they part of Savage Team, you know. And let your um, friends know we on live right now. Let your friends know. Fuck, come on, tell shit. Them, tell them. Um, so check this out. Olivia Troy um, has, has quit. Left the the Pence camp, um, and and basically it's just reinforced the whole idea that Trumpy Dumpty's whole coron uh, coronavirus response is completely tied to his reelection, and that's all he gives a shit about. And he doesn't give a shit about you or me or his own family or none of that shit. He just like we got to keep, <laughs> keep this keep this administration going so that the Russians yeah. don't <clears throat> don't release the piss tapes. Um, <laughs> and you know, there's you, come on, everybody knows he basically let a Russian hooker pee on him. The fucking male hooker, you know, <laughs> male hooker, male male, hooker. yeah, Russian yeah, a bunch hooker. of hookers, uh, and they all peed on him. And he was like, "Oh, go in the shower. I love it." I love it. And then they Vlad. His name was Vlad. Yeah, they recorded it. Yeah, they recorded it. I just okay, maybe they didn't, but you know what? It's nice to dream. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so in addition to that, right? Because <clears throat> we kind of know that uh, you know what Trump de Dumpty is about, and, and 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 what his ego is about. But there's also another whistleblower. I mean, they, they are singing some tunes out here. It's like birds in the morning. Uh, I feel like it, it's like two short songs below the whistle, and everybody said, "Okay, yeah." They just basically everybody's like, <laughs> "Yeah." <laughs> I think that you know what I think is going to happen though. I think that um, the way Trump tries to do this mafia shit, if he wins, all of those whistleblowers mysteriously will end up missing. I really well, do think, you know, I we, think they're going to end up missing. We're going to have to look out then for uh, Dawn Wooten. Um, this is the, the, the next whistleblower. She's a practical nurse. Um, she worked, uh, she was working for the Irwin County Detention Center. This is in Georgia, by the way. So the, Georgia? Is, the, yeah. song, the song she's whistling is that there have been these sort of mass hysterectomies being performed at ICE detention centers. Like Female immigrants are basically getting their uteruses scooped out, <laughs> getting, getting their whole tubes tied. Right, up, and they uh, and they against, one of them called them. Will. They called the doctor the uterus uh, collector. Um, they would ask the nurses, yeah, say, "What is he, the uterus collector?" And that's scary when you think about the fact that it's still going on like that. That there's so much, um, I don't know which other way to put it. Yeah, hatred, so much fucking hatred for people of color and immigrants and whatever else, because I don't see them doing, I don't see them removing a lot of European American um, people that, or even Europeans, fuck it, Europeans or people from Norway. I don't see a lot of their vaginas getting mutilated and, uh, you know, the uterus is getting taken out. <clears throat> yeah, um, this is a, it, it, this is one of those like really disturbing things. Um, right, it's dark, it's darker than their normal darkness. Yeah, man. Um, and, and we see you, by the way, motherfucking Roxanne. Roxanne, I see you. Uh, yeah, Ju good Juice. music is in the building. Thank yeah. you, guys. Um, K Hots. I think I said a K Hussey. No, um, Casey. I don't know. Casey. We're going with Casey. Did I say that to the wrong guy? Why'd I make it sound? <laughs> K Hussey. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> <good>. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just Casey. Kasima. Uh, but the top congressional Democrats are, are calling for an investigation into. Um, the, Dawn Wooten's allegations. Um, this is a black woman, by the way, who is who, who is who is blowing this whistle. Um, right, and the other woman this, this is, is a white is a is a white. She's white as a white woman, and she um literally there's photographs, there's video of her. So they say, oh, but she doesn't hold any credibility. There's photographs and videos of her sitting right there with the president and all his cronies, um, sitting there dictating. So she was on the team. She was on the, team. She was on the sure. fucking team. So don't try that shit. And two other people that were on the team, they they co-signed what the fuck she said. So what you gonna do now? Huh? Uh oh. Hey, 
Shane, uh, Juice10974 says, Shane, you sound like you're spreading hate and anger towards other colors, too. That makes you just as bad. Come on, Shane. Are you spreading hate? I, you know what, Juice? Uh, you might be right. I might be spreading some anger to people that have oppressed me for almost 400 years, oppressed mm. uh, black people for almost 400 years, and, and the, you know, inequality, the, the racism that is done to me. I don't wake up in the morning juice and say, hey, I'm going to be mean to, uh, you know, white people. But white people actually actively wake up in the morning and think of ways to systematically be mean to me. So if you think I'm spreading hatred, why don't you go after the people, because it's a false equivalency, why don't you go after the people that really have been spreading hatred, like the Klan, white nationalists, the violence that's been done by them to black people over the years. So talk to them first. And until I see a whole bunch of white men pictures from history hung from trees by black people, shut the fuck up! Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, you know... I am, though. See, they said you are, though. Yeah, okay. it's all good, man. You know. I don't know it, what, it, I did it, I, what, I, what I said. Oh, what, what I said about E? I... I, I Tell me specifically what I said, and we'll move on. But tell me it's, what I specifically it's said. It's, I know, that it's was hard that. To, it's hard to take somebody. Yeah, Elaine K. Four says it. Uh, Ed Juice, fuck your feelings, which is our main slogan here on Savage AF. And he's like, that's why we only have thirty-two people in our room, but we actually get a lot of people who watch afterwards when we post it on. Right. Uh, oh, were they, were they trying to pull the numbers card? You're right. That's why yeah. we only got the, uh, 33 people, 34 people. You're right. You, we don't have a lot but of guess people what? here. It's the, it's the same 33 motherfuckers every day because they are dedicated <laughs> right here. So yeah, we got a dedicated you. thing. And, and Juice, you can say all of this stuff. That's why you only... Um, Juice, what the fuck do you do? I, I mean, inbox me it's, what and you it's do. Hard. It's hard to talk to somebody seriously when when they call themselves juice and then number it you know what i mean like you're not even juice one yeah. it's juice ten nine seven four that means there are like ten thousand nine hundred and seventy three other juices out there yes why, why and i'm gonna look up I mean? juice like, right that, now that don't even make sense so it, you know this, this is this is that is a trip but you know that one stood out to me wanted to give you a chance to address that but right you know what i'm gonna We're look sure, i'm gonna I'm look up called, juice right now our show is called Savage AF. Uh, the AF doesn't mean and friendly, okay? So <laughs> we don't give a fuck about how this makes you feel, dog. Like, there, yes, there is hate and anger that comes out of our mouths. It, it, we are human beings that hate certain things, like Shane mentioned, injustice, police brutality. It makes us angry. It comes out that way sometimes. Go knit sweaters or crochet, whatever the fuck hat is on your head. And, and get the fuck off our feed if that shit don't. Well, no, no, right no, no. I, I just found juice. I found juice. You said I only we only have thirty. Now we got thirty five. You're right. Not a lot of people right now yet. But by the end of the day tomorrow, it'll be a lot of people. Uh, juice who has zero post, thirty seven followers, five hundred and sixty seven following. Oh. Um, juice, don't this say is, a motherfucking thing to me about numbers. This is this <laughs> is three minus three. This that nigga coming back on a different. Uh, it's right. Two times two times negative eight. That motherfucker that this, last week that Miss Adver bodied, motherfucker. I know you dancing around in different, or you either Russian bot, or you're just somebody uh, dancing around from a different account. Like you know how you get a different number and then and then call your ex and be like, I hate your titties, and then hang up. This is what you yeah. do. Okay, this is this is exactly what this is. We know it. We've seen it before. No, you say no. I'm I'm looking at Juice's page and it's it's non-existent. And I get it. We get trolls and tramps and. You know, whatever the fuck. But the end of the day is when you say that black people are being are spreading racism and spreading hatred. Now, there's a lot of black people that do hate white people. Absolutely. And they're disgusted with white people. But it's built up over years and years and years of systematic fucking hatred, degradation, degradation, and on and on and on. So if you can answer me that question, who does the most pertaining to the word hatred? Then I'll listen by the to way, you. But until, by until the way, then, by, by, by the way, um, the the FBI, the head of the FBI, did literally just say that the number one threat, domestic terror wise, the number one threat in terms of domestic terrorism, are white nationalists, white supremacists. Yeah, that that is, that is America's number one 
problem. See, and, you, and see, Juice is saying we live in the past. And I'm telling you that the fucking FBI has said this today, my dude, like right now, that, that, that right now, white supremacists who are the same ones from this past that you're talking about. By the way, the past is 2013 when the FBI also said that United States urban police forces are rampant with KKK, white supremacist, Nazi right. uh, members, right? So that, that, that's your past, homie. Your past is a few months ago. Your past is last week. Your past is today, right? Like we are still, we are in the past. We are still, still living still with that. So that you have motherfuckers who, who want to hold up the Confederate flag and, and want to fight for that past. What do you think make America, make America great again is? Again is a reference to the past, right? Even Joe's build back better. Back is, is it's past. It's in, in the past. This country is stuck in the past. And it's not the right. And you, and we're, obviously stuck, you, we're stuck in the presence yeah. of that. Man, and, and Juice, I see what you said here that if you, if, you know, uh, you can't hurt me. You don't like the way our country or the country is. Go somewhere you can be happy. Why Clef went to Africa? Go see how happy you are there. Okay, so you're telling me because I speak out against hatred and racism Man, and this a is times, you know, times in a, two. yeah, this is in a vehement way. Then I I got to leave this country, so I'm no longer American. So how about this? You don't like the way the country's going, pretending to possibly moving towards a little bit more of a justified system. Why don't you go back to fucking where you came from? Why don't go you back, leave yeah. the fuck out, out away from the country? And that's what kills me. Where they tell us to leave. Maybe you should leave if you don't like the way shit's going. That the majority of people don't like Trump. <laughs> the majority of people don't like the shit. He did lose by three over three million votes. So most people don't like your bitch ass <laughs> and your bitch ass thought process. All right. You're only thirty three percent at best forty percent of the country that's down for this cock of mamie bullshit, bitch ass shit. But the rest of the people aren't. People are trying to move forward. People are trying to actually out there protest to get justice. What the fuck are you doing with your bitch ass? And yes, I can say with my with your bitch ass. And if you think that's spreading hate, then you know what? <laughs> and maybe you got a little bitch in you, a little tiny bitch in your chest. And when you open your shirt, the little bitch jumps out and goes, I'm offended. Don't be a snowflake. It's a show called Savage as Fuck. Eat a dick. So, um, <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. I had to, get, had to get it off my chest. See, uh, first of all, th th this is some computer program shit. Because Juice is using commas as apostrophes. Like, my nigga, like, <laughs> you've got, a, you, you spelled I'm, I, comma, M, instead of apostrophe. I don't know what upside down drug you on, motherfucker, but pass that shit on the left hand side. Uh, I, I'm, okay, so let's just take a vote. Is Juice a Russian bot uh, times times two? Or publicity mag in disguise, right? So, like, so I'm thinking it's no. I can I, I see the know. picture of juice. I can I see the picture of juice. That's just the, that's what that's what bots do. Is they'll yeah. just take a photo and then just start plugging shit in. I'm thinking this is times times two because it's it's he's trying to Marcus Garvey the conversation. And, uh, and now Pedro, he's trying to call you names. Just you're a retard. Wow. First of all, that's not politically correct. Okay, and. My physician says mentally deficient, okay? Yes, that's the I am official. And right. That's the official. But, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, okay, you say I'm real, you dummy. But you're spelling I'm with a comma, dog. Like, the, the comma got, it, it, it's supposed to float in the air between the I and the M, not, not sit in the thing. Like, you you don't it's know cool, the difference though. between you know what? comments. What? Well, you know what? I tell you what. Like, I tell you what. Uh, whatever the fuck your name is, or whoever the fuck you are, welcome to the show, Savage as Fuck. And if you can handle this smoke, stay there. Stay there and take these take this verbal beating, bitch. Um, and by the way, the Savage as Fuck brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by Dash Radio. You can check us out on all platforms. All platforms. I don't know why I said it like that, but you can check us out on all platforms. All you can check platforms. us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Slack, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, you know what I'm saying, SoundCloud. That's what so you can check man. us out on all of those. Make sure you check us out. And make sure that you follow this young man. We got a young man in the house since star time. Nobody knows yep. what that is. I, 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 that's from uh, James Brown, uh, who right. I just watched a clip from um, Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman, and they did a split screen of Chadwick Boseman playing James Brown and the actual James footage Brown. of James Brown. Jesus Christ, he killed that. 
He was uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. So talented. Incredible singer, too. A lot of this stuff, it was him singing. I'm going to post some of that stuff up so you people can see it. But Savage AF, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. And Juice, I got it. You say we need to relax and enjoy it. Got it. Okay, but you said you actually told me to go <laughs> to another country. So I don't know why you think you're going to get me to say something nice to you but telling me to go to another country. Just like your dumbass fucking president told people to go back to another country and they were born in Indiana and New York. So shut your bitch ass up. So, okay. uh, so speaking of throwing shit back, um, federal judge, <laughs> and, you know, I, and at this point, I'm just going to let the audience here on IG Live uh, uh, demolish juice for the rest of the show if you want to stick around, but uh, we we done with that. Uh, U.S. District Judge Stanley Bastion in Yakima, Washington uh, said he is issuing a nationwide injunction sought by 14 states in a case against U.S. President Donald Trump. I'm sorry, impeached U.S. President Donald Trump. That's how I like to put it. Uh, <laughs> Postmaster General Louis DeJoy and the U.S. Postal Service um, over July changes to the service. So, you know, back in July when Louis DeJoy took over, you know, they kind of took this, oh, you know, leave, leave mail behind if you can't. No more overtime. If you can't deliver all the mail, just leave it in a pile over there. Oh, yeah, we're going to take some, some mailboxes out. No, we're going to take some sorting machines out. So this federal judge out of Washington is saying that this is all politically motivated. This, this, is the, this is this judge's uh, view of this, his judgment of it. <laughs> and uh, he, he is calling, he's calling out this administration. He is calling out this, this leadership. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's what this is. Like, it's uh, so, you know, I don't know if anything's actually going to happen from this, but I, I do like to see at least some part of the government working right to try and balance shit out. You know what I mean? Right. There, there's got to be some check and balance to this shit. And, you know, I, I, I would say this is probably not a federal judge that uh, Trumpy Dumpty has appointed, but uh, that's why they work so hard to appoint judges because they can do things like this, like check, check and balance. So they want to tilt that balance towards their side. So they work on getting these judges, but right. this, and, and, this is and, why federal judges are important. Get them, Chang. No, no, I was going to say the bottom line is you think of the way they're going about it. It's so corrupt. There was so much corruption that it was to the point where it's obvious. So hopefully um, we can get some kind of fucking get back to make sure that people can mail in their votes. And I see, you know, what's his name want to call me out like you tough online. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If there, if there wasn't a pandemic, I'm all over the place. You can holler at me in person, uh, Juice. You can see me in person, talk to me in person, and see what you could do. And then I'll see what, and then you can see what I can do. How about that? That's yeah, pretty yeah, calm, yeah. not acting tough. I said, let's see what you can do, and let's see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, and then we go from there. How about that? I, I ain't call you no name or nothing. I said, holla at me face to face, like you said, see me face to face, and then we'll decide what happens from there. Okay, now we'll move on, Boom. and we'll leave you alone. But yeah, the, I hope these, I hope they don't. Pull a, uh, the, you know, because he has so many judges in his pocket. I hope that they don't pull some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, Juice is in his feelings now because he know that it's he a, got I mean, bread. That's, that's <laughs> nothing. That's nothing. It's a, it's a bot. It's a bot. Yeah. Uh, no, he said he <laughs> called me out. Like, come on with it. I'm like, all right. That's what I'm uh, saying. Amarillo, man. Texas. What's up? I stay in Amarillo, Texas, and and I'm done. <laughs> You're in Amarillo, Texas. <laughs> that's enough beating for you alone. I don't really need to do shit to you because you're already in Amarillo, Texas. Um, yeah. No, you think, you think that it will, it, you say holding court, do you think that this shit um, is going to get worse? Because I think that even though you have the lawsuits, I think this shit ain't going to happen. You know, I, I really do. I think that they're going to end up doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Doing their little dirt. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, like I said, I'm not sure if this is actually going to do anything at all. But the the reality is we, we need somebody out here, uh, you know, more than just us yelling in the sky. Damien, uh, Hines, Samos, I see you. Uh, what up, though? But, you know, it, it's uh, we, we need some, somebody on a federal level, a judge, somebody with power to be doing something, saying something about this. And, uh, you know, this is an important step. It's a process. But. 
Um, basically, he he is he. This judgment is to block uh, 